Hello everyone, and um, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be um, making this um, uh, very realistic, I think, um, tractor scene. It's very easy to make. Um, I think it looks very nice once completed. Now, an important part of the model is the base. Now, this base is just a um, piece of three-quarter MDF I had lying around. Oh, you'll see it has a nice groove on the edges. Um, that was me with a router. It was left over from a base of something. Uh, yeah, I'd made... I'm not sure what it was for. Um, but what we're going to do first is we're going to start planning out where we want things on our diorama. Now, I'm using a tractor, as you can see. Um, I'm just going around with my pencil, um, getting a basic feel outline for where I want the things to be um, so that I won't have to um, change it later. Now, the main structure of the diorama is made of um, some cement. Now, um, you can also use sculpt -to mold or plaster of Paris or plaster cloth, um, depending on what you want to use. Um, I just had some cement laying around the garage. Um, the good thing about cement is that it gives you a nice dirt texture. Um, because that's quite a few lumps in it. But what you're going to do is you're going to mix it till it's um, a thick consistency um, so that you can easily shape it. Um, not so watery that it just slides everywhere, but then not so um, hard that you can't move it enough. Now what I'm doing now, I have a glove on, you can see. Um, I recommend using gloves, you don't have to. What we're just doing is we're stre um, uh, well, sorry, spreading the cement around the diorama. Um, over there. Just basically getting it uh, smoothed out everywhere, getting into the gaps. Um, just for the basic outline, we're going to use um, another tool to actually spread it out. Just to get the basic outline. Now, um, what I like to do is just use a spoon, an pl old plastic spoon or something, to actually get it out or spread it around. Um, now this room actually want to get smoother. See, I just keep working it until it starts to get smoother. It doesn't matter if it's not that smooth because you're going to end up putting a uh, dirt and grass or whatever you want on it later. Um, trying not to get anything on the edge is all I just did right there um, because it makes it for a cleaner base. But um, and you can see I'm, I decided to make a little track in the middle of it. Um, so I just did that by raising up this mount of cement in the middle and lowering it down the sides. I just tested the tractor to see if everything's good. And um, now what I'm doing while the cement is still wet, um, I took the um, treads off the tractor model I made, and now I'm just rolling them through the um, wet cement. Now you're going to want to make sure you wash these off after you're done, but just to give it some nice um, texture to make it look like there had actually been um, tractors and various vehicles driving across that road. After the cement is dried, you're going to make sure it fully dries. Um, you don't want to have it a tiny bit soft because it'll mess up with your terrain. Um, we're just going to paint it with this nice earthy brown color. I have um, dark brown. Uh, not too hard. Just try This mainly just is supposed to get... Um, we're going to be covering this up later. But it's mainly just supposed to um, cover up any of the leftover um, piece of cement that may still show through after the static grass and the dirt and everything has been added on later. I just finish up spreading it out, basically just trying to get it everywhere and covering it. After that's dried, we're going to take some um, Mod Podge flat, flat, and we're going to put our use it as static grass glue. Um, you can also use Woodland Scenic static tack, um, that also works. Now the static grass I'm using is Woodland Scenic's light green. Um, I find that's a great color for fields, um, more dead grass. Um, I think it looks cool. Uh, you can use whatever color you choose, this method works for anything. But again, I'm just like spreading it out over the areas that I want the grass. Um, now, in the middle of the track, um, I'm, I'm at it. I will glue in the middle, not the parts that I want dirty. So you only add the static grass in the sections that you actually want um, to have grass in real life. Test fit the tractor, make sure it looks okay. 
And then um, a nice thing about working on a diorama, um, it's hard to do on if you're actually doing it on a train layout, is you can just flip the whole diorama upside down to get off any excess grass. Um, I think that's very nice. Um, now the base of the dirt I'm using the diorama, just normal soil I had outside. Um, if it's wet, you're going to want to make sure you dry it out a lot. Um, so that it's not sticky or anything, it's not wet, it doesn't look like it's muddy, unless you're trying to model something muddy, which we'll get into later. But, what I'm doing now, I'm just spreading out some Mod Podge flat, matte flat, or whatever you want to call it, on the um, sections that I want to have the dirty track. Um, now what you can also do is, you could, before I added the static grass, I really should have strained the dirt, and then put the dirt underneath the static grass to make it look more realistic if you're going through that kind of text look. Um, but it's really up to you, depending on what you don't want to do. Um, I didn't do that, and I think it looks okay, as it is. But, um, you can just follow my method if you want. Uh, what we're doing now is just, um, spreading the dirt out. I pat it down, because mine was still a little damp. Um, I really should have strained it out, or waited till it was strained out first, uh, that's a tip. Um, my real, I just, like, spread it out. Um, try and, like, grind up the big, bigger pieces in there, and basically just... Um, spread it out and push it down after a while. I try not to get it on the grass. Um, now after you push down the dirt, um, I use a mixture of two a few drops of dips, dish soap, scenic glue. Um, you can check out Luke Towen's channel. The link in the corner right there. Um, I got this recipe from him. Works very well. I'm just using an eyedropper to apply it over the diorama. Makes a nice glue. It's liquidy. Um, now you can see after the dirt has dried. It looks very realistic. A uh, nice little road we got there. I just start adding some foliage around. I'm playing with how I want it. Um, it all depends on how you like it, how, where you want it. So I can just depend on how you like it. Now um, I wanted a tree in the corner. Um, I'm using hot glue to apply it because I may the tree wasn't very realistic. I used just a cheap wooden scenic tree. So I was thinking about um, removing it if I ever want to. That's the reason I use hot glue on it so I can just easily pry it up. Um, it's also easy to set. Now what I'm using, I'm doing now, just painting this, the last step is just to paint the sides black. You can do any color if you want to do it brown. Any subtle color so it doesn't draw your attention away from the actual diorama works. Uh, here's a finished diorama. I think it looks very nice. Um, it's very easy to make. Um, you can easily do this within a, in a day or two. Um, the other thing about these kind of dioramas, it gives you kind of a feel. If you want to make a larger one later on, um, works well. Anyway, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Um, please subscribe so you can get other people to see my channel. And anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.